guys. Young back with some chivalry medieval warfare. Now, I haven't done any videos on this game because I kind of got one glaring issue with it, and that's the controls, the combat mechanic. Everything else about this game is freaking awesome. From like usable, like things like this ballista here, to like those ships in there. Oh shit. No. Okay, we lost that. Yeah, so there's just so many cool things. And like the team objective. Kind of like rush, if you will, encounter in a battlefield where there's a set of different objectives. So maybe you have to like assault a castle and break through the different like lines of defenses and then like kill the king. Or something like that. And then there's secondary, like burn like the mill on the way or something. So it's really cool in that sense. The glaring downside for me though is the combat mechanics and the controls. <laughs> like give you a, like I remapped all the controls so it kind of works for me. But like the default controls, there's several different buttons for attack, and like the default setup is like mouse wheel up for one and mouse wheel down for another one. And I don't know, that may work for some people, but I found it incredibly, incredibly hard to uh, to use. The block mechanic works a little different as well. You can't hold block; you have to like time it just right. Come on, buddy. Come on. Watch out behind you. Oh. Oh. And as you can see, my arm almost got cut off. So there's amputation and decapitation and like ridiculous blood. And all the bodies stay throughout the entire battle. So that's really neat. So we were playing team objective. Now we're playing free for all. So it's just kill people. Yeah. Come on. Come here. Yeah, so that's why I can describe the combat is clunky. Yeah. Shit. Shit. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I blocked that. Whoa. Oh yeah, come on. Oh no. <laughs> so that wasn't bad there. Dang it. Oh yeah, and then just to make things more complicated with the combat, so we got like one, two, three buttons for your main weapon, then you can do a melee kick, and then you can augment it by pushing alt and do like an alternate swing for each attack. Except for the kick. You don't kick with other foot or something. And as you can see, I wore down my stamina bar, oh, which is in the bottom left. Health is the top, and stamina is the bottom, so I can just spam swing, which is cool. But, like, my perfect medieval game, I guess, would be this game, but then with the combat mechanics and controls of War of the Roses. I think that would be sweet. Like, if you could play a first person War of the Roses with all this cool stuff, that'd be sweet. You can also play third person several different views, but come on, it's cooler in first person. Whoa! <laughs> so, let's throw some stuff at this guy. <laughs> Get our knives back. Sorry, buddy. That's a secondary. And then I have the knives. The big long ass. Oh, battle hammer thing. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Uh oh. Oh shit. So I thought I blocked that. Yes. <laughs> so like even with the clunky-ish mechanics for the the combat, this game is still really fun. I like War of the Roses more just because of the controls, but there's a lot of things that I like about the game more. Whoa. Oh. 
Oh shit. <laughs> what the heck? I just got shot in the head with an arrow and my head exploded. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, and you can do taunts like that guy's doing. <laughs> and unlike War of the Roses, which is like historically said, this isn't some like wonky made up land. Agatha is like one city state or whatever the hell they are. Oh, can I make it three? Yes! Get some! Yes! Oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> no! Ah, uh, see what I mean, clunky? I got stuck on that. Oh! <laughs> well, that run couldn't last forever. Oh shit, I missed! <laughs> that right up. <laughs> So there are different classes, Oops, which I, there you go, there's the different classes. We'll stay using this guy though. Oh shit. Dude, I was showing people stuff, come on, kick him. Nice, get some. <laughs> I like the little things, like the blood on the end of the weapon and stuff. So like, you know, just that one glaring thing that separates this game from being so awesome. Because it is pretty damn awesome. Already. <laughs> I shouldn't have got in the middle of them. Another bonus oh, of chivalry. <laughs> is that a lot more people play it? Like War of the Roses is criminally underplayed. Um, even though it's, it is free to play, but there's a free to play version of the game that you can play with everyone who has the game, which really isn't that bad to be honest. If you want to try it out, War of the Roses is free to play on Steam. But um, you know, if you had to choose between the two. Probably, I don't know. Yeah, I'd buy both. <laughs> I'd say if you want more player base, go with Shogun. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, let's use our secondary sneak up this guy. Uh oh. <laughs> No. I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> Someone cut off my head. <laughs> hey, Mr. Hercher. I'm not gonna miss. Oh! Oh, he's like... I don't understand what the fuck happened there. 
Oh shit. Okay, 17 seconds left. Gotta find someone. Aha. Whoa! Jesus! <laughs> God, get out of here. Look at the <laughs> so, 15 kills, 13 deaths, not bad, not bad at all. All right, guys. So that was just a quick look at Chivalry Medieval Warfare. There is a DLC with all kinds of crazy stuff like samurais and pirates and stuff. We'll check that out another time. Okay. So before we start the next uh, next round, we'll catch you on the next time.